the important areas which you should prepare and go in modern India. How to prepare modern India for? I'll give few important areas. For example, Komagata Maru. You all know Komagata Maru is a ship, and uh, Komagata Maru incident is because of Canadian authorities at that time British government have sent back the ship. They may give in detail question about Kamakata Maru because two years back there was again the ship is in use as British Prime Minister said sorry to it for the entire episode. Sorry, Canadian Prime Minister. Canadian Prime Minister said sorry to it. So the first important aspect is Kamakata Maru along with it Gadar Party. Gather party. Second thing, sometimes certain questions come like this. I do remember 10 years back a question how come. Who wrote Das Capital? Asked who, who was a friend of Karl Marx? Frederick Engels. Sometimes in history, suddenly they will give a question. Who wrote Das Capital? Asked who was a friend of Karl Marx? Karl Marx's friend was Engels and Das Capital is written by Karl Marx. Sudden such type of surprises might come in the exam. And next thing is, in the Indian perspective, they may ask you, who propounded radical humanism? M. N. Roy. In the Indian perspective, they may ask you some surprising questions like, who propounded radical humanism? M. N. Roy. Who propounded integral humanism? Dean Dayal Upadhyay. Radical humanism, integral humanism. As you all know, Deen Dayal Upadhyay is looming large in the recent past. Many schemes were launched in the name of Deen Dayal Upadhyay. Integral humanism of Deen Dayal Upadhyay should be studied now. The next thing is, various committees and commissions during the British rule. As just I have discussed about commissions on education, there are various commissions like Butler Committee. Butler Committee is a committee to study about, to enhance the relation between, enhance the relation between British India, British government and Indian princely states. British government and Indian princely states. Butler Committee. For example, Hilton Eng Committee. Hilton Eng. Hilton Eng Committee particularly is related to formation of Reserve Bank of India. As RBI is in use, various sections in RBI are in use, suddenly you may get a surprising question on Hilton Eng Commission. And you may get one more committee like Lee Commission on Civil Services. Lee Commission, L E E. So the entire committee is commissions including education like Woods Dispatch like <coughs> Hunter Committee on Education, like Hunter Committee on Jelly and Wallabag Incident. So these things are important. Committees and commissions during the British rule. You have to make a list of it. In internet also you will get list if you type. Next is from last 4-5 years repetitively one name is we are getting in all schemes. Madan Mohan Malavia, also called as Mahamana. Madan Mohan Malavya, also called as Mahamana. This Madan Mohan Malavya got Bharat Ratna four years back. He was awarded Bharat Ratna. He was very famous in Banaras Hindu University. He is one of the founders of Banaras Hindu University. And Madan Mohan Malavya also popularized the term Satyameva Jayate. Popularized the term Satyameva Jayate. So, Madan Mohan Malavya, one important person who was in use all the time in the recent past. Next is Subhash Chandra Bose. Subhash Chandra Bose and his INA. Subhash Chandra Bose, because of his files, <laughs> conspiracy theories behind his death, all these things made him relevant all the time. Subhash Chandra Bose and his INA, for example. Next is 
first world war end of first world war last year marked the end of first world war so you should also study in the even though it's a part of world history a bit of first world war and next is silk letter movement this silk letter movement what is this see in the muslim movements there is a movement called Dioband movement there is a movement called Dioband D E O P A N D Dioband movement see there are certain muslim movements like revivalistic movements reformistic movements in muslim religious movements as we have in hindu religious movements like brahma samaj opposite to is dharma sabha some reformist some revivalistic even in muslims there are movements like aligarh movement started by sir sayyed ahmed khan aligarh movement in the same way we have one more movement called ahmadiyya movement mirza gulam ahmed ahmadiyya movement started by mirza gulam ahmed this aligarh movement ahmadiyya movement both are reformist progressive movements Aligarh movement, Ahmadiyya movement, both are progressive, forward looking movements. Whereas we have certain movements like Dioband movement. Dio, O means orthodox. Dioband movement. Faraisi movement. Dioband movement, Faraisi movement. These movements are revivalistic movements. These movements are revivalistic. One more movement, Wahhabi movement. Bring back Waha bring back the original islamic pillars or faith so even in muslim religious movements we have reformist movements revivalistic movements in reformistic movements we have aligarh movement ahmadiyya movement in the revivalistic movement we have wahhabi movement dioband movement faraisi movement etc you have in dioband movement certain diobandis in the later part were involved in silk letter what is this silk letter why it is in use it is in use because few years back in the recent past government have released a commemorative stamp on that government have released a commemorative stamp and the news relating to the movement have published in got published in pib press information bureau this movement is Certain Diobandis wanted to gain independence to India with the help of some foreign people living in Afghanistan and other areas and they used to exchange their views through a letter written on a silk cloth. Letter written on a silk cloth. For that reason it have become silk letter movement. And Mr. Ubedullah, Sayyid Ubedullah was very famous in this silk letter movement Ubedullah Sayyid Ubedullah is very famous in silk letter movement this Ubedullah was finally caught by British police but particularly by Punjab CID criminal investigation department and the movement was suppressed the movement was suppressed very rarely the movement was written in the textbooks also no textbook will author this but the thing is government released a map, uh, stamp few years back so kindly read about silk letter movement and next thing is coming to other aspects UPSC always love to give question in INC sessions of INC and important resolutions in INC INC sessions of INC important resolutions in the INC that purely factual 1885 to 1947 purely factual many questions like who is the first president who is the first muslim president who is the first christian president who was the first woman president who was the first foreign woman president indian woman president how many times subhash chandra bose have done where did gandhi presided the inc session or where did the madan mohan malavia preside over that all these things how many times madan mohan malavia have done it these are the factual things. If you can sit for 3-4 hours, 
one mark one question that is two marks will be in your hands that is purely factual you will get the entire material in the internet the only thing is you have to sit and work it on INC sessions and is present for example who presided over Karachi session it was Sardar Vallabhai Patel or who presided over 1906 session it was Dada Bhai Naroji or you may get a question who presided over Ramgar session Ma Maulana Abul Kalam Azad so certain questions they will give that only and animation is the most favorite area animation is the most favorite area which you cannot ignore and suddenly some tidbits they will ask tidbits like individual satyagrahas like C Rajgopalachari formula like suddenly they will go into who led Vedaram Satyagraha who established a parallel government some tidbit questions some factual, purely factual tidbit are books and others books and others are newspapers and their others the, our newspapers and its editors owners books and others this question is also very factual I told you a few examples like Bandi Jeevan, Sachin Sanyal, Philosophy of Bhagavad Bhagavati Charanohra, or say Neil Darpan, Dhirban Mitra, Bharata Durdasha by Bhattirendu Harishchandra, like that they should come to your mind automatically because we cannot, even medieval ancient India, the most, uh, for the people who cannot remember the facts, toughest part is books and others. Who wrote Mudrana, Mudrana Rakshasam, Vishaka Datta? Like that. Who wrote, for example, Tirukural, Tirukural, Mani Me Kalai? Okay, like that. So, ancient, medieval, and modern, the, uh, for factual questions, you need to have some techniques like books and others and newspapers and journals that one question we can expect in that area or whose biography whose autobiography these questions and even current affairs last one two years any famous book that was released last one two years one book they might ask one book last two years any famous book that was authored by any famous person and coming to other aspect animation is a favorite book. question always home rule moment is in limelight Home rule moment you have to study. The next is this year most importantly Jalian Wallabag incident 100 years. Jalian Wallabag incident 100 years. So you have to go thoroughly go through Jalian Wallabag incident, do research on it. And Montag Chelmsford reforms 100 years. You should thoroughly know Montag Chelmsford reforms. Jalian Wallabag. Montag Chems for reforms both 100 years so very important next is as I told you the unsung heroes are in Royal Indian Navy Mutiny Rin Mutiny R I N Rin Mutiny even I think in Klim's exam Questions were not properly asked in the last few years on Sipai Mutiny of 1857. Sipai Mutiny of 1857. As you all know, there are certain areas and films which we have to study and go even though we don't know whether they will ask question or not. For example, in the Valley Civilization in ancient India, Buddhism and Jainism in ancient India. Those things surely you have to compulsorily do research and go. Indus Valley Civilization is the most important area. In the same way, Sipai Mutni, the factual questions are very important. Coming back, Paika Rebellion. As you all know, Government of India two years back declared that Paika Rebellion is the first war of Indian independence. Paika Rebellion is another area which is very important. P I K A, Paika. Next incident is Bhima Koragao. Last year in Maharashtra in the place called Bhima Koragao, violence erupted between upper class and dis distressed classes. Upper class and depressed classes. So, you have to study the entire episode of Bhima Koragao before going to the exam. Next is a very important thing, Vivekananda's Chicago speech. 125 years we are celebrating 
Swami Vivekananda's Chicago speech. 125 years Chicago speech. So you should not just read about Chicago speech. You should read entire thing about Swami Vivekananda and his books, all those things. Next is Sardhar Vallabhai Patel. As you all know, the largest, the highest, the longest statue of Sardhar Vallabhai Patel has been unveiled in Sadhu Beda Islands near Narmada district, Gujarat. So, Sardhar Patel is very important. And last but not the least, and almost compulsory in either films or mains or essay is Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi, 150 years. 2019 is the year for India. Dam should see essay or he might be general essay this year or he might be in GS question this year or he might be in films question paper this year. Somewhere Gandhi's presence will be there in our question paper. Okay, Mahatma Gandhi, 150 years. That you have to go through seriously. Okay, apart from that, as you all know, in Annama Nicobar Islands, Sentinel is tried, killed an American citizen. Tribals, tribal revolts are important. Tribal revolts in India. Any internet, any website will tell you. Like Coles, like Rampa, like Munda, many rebellions. But one leader, Cones or Coles, any one leader, one revolt. Or for that matter, this time, tribals and their culture in India particularly tribals and their festivals tribals and their culture tribals and their festivals for films the most important thing tribal culture tribal festivals if you read northeast festivals particularly almost I think examiner will focus in northeast northeast tribal festivals there are various festivals Example, Losar festival. It's not a, just a tribal festival, it's a festival. Losar festival. It's a New Year festival. Ladakh area, Arunachal Pradesh area. It's a Buddhist festival. It's not tribal. But there are certain festivals which are meant only for tribals. For tribals like Metis, Cookies, separately there are festivals. Okay, those festivals you have to remember. Tribal festivals. And one more thing in ancient India is which, are, which is connected to modern India Buddhist monasteries Buddha monasteries various monasteries you know why that's important two years back Dalai Lama visited Buddhist monastery in Arunachal Pradesh when Dalai Lama came to this visit China got angry on India why you invited why you allowed Dalai Lama to enter into Arunachal Pradesh, who are you? So, Buddhist monasteries in India, Buddhist monasteries in India is very, very important. Okay. If you can learn, you learn. Otherwise, I will tell some techniques how to remember Buddhist, Buddhist monasteries. Around 15 to 20 are important. If you could remember 15 to 20 names and places, it's enough. Names and places is enough. And, uh, these are the important areas this year for modern India.